Do you remember that night the thunder shook the apartment? I was five, and I thought the lightning was so bright, I thought the world was on fire. Under my covers, crying, and you come flying into the room and peek under the covers and decided to make it a game. You made that entire night an adventure until the storm passed. Don't you remember that? No, Maya, I don't. That's because it never happened. The storm happened, but you didn't. Please, please, just come down and talk to me. Why? Why should I? You're lame, okay? You're just some lame suburban dad. Why does that make you so mad? Because if you were going to be some lame suburban dad, why couldn't you have been that for me? You ain't got to do no, nothing, Uncle Phil. You know, ain't like I'm still five years old, you know? Ain't like I'm going to be sitting up every night asking my mom, when's daddy coming home, you know? Who needs him? Hey, he wasn't there to teach me how to shoot my first basket, but I learned, didn't I? Hey, I got pretty damn good at it, too, didn't I, yeah, Uncle Phil? Got through my first date without him, right? Mm -hmm. I learned how to drive. I learned how to shave. I learned how to fight without him. I had 14 great birthdays without him. He never even sent me a damn card. Die out with him! I ain't need him then, and I don't need him now. Will. Nah, you know what, Uncle Phil? I'm gonna get through college without him. I'm going to get a great job without him. I'm going to marry me a beautiful honey, and I'm going to have me a whole bunch of kids. I'm going to be a better father than he ever was. And I sure as hell don't need him for that, because ain't a damn thing he could ever teach me about how to love my kids. How come he don't want me, man? I create you, or was I just right about you all along? Were you really my friend, or were you just pretending so it would hurt me more? Jeremy, just listen to yourself. You sound crazy. Exactly. No, no one will believe me now, because I'm the boy who cried wolf. Do you know how bad it sucks? The one person who knows my most personal intimate secret about me is the same person who betrayed me. I got revenge on the Thompsons. When we shared that moment, it meant something to me. I guess it didn't to you. So, I hope this was all worth it. Because now you have to live with yourself. I've tried. Really, really, really hard to be your friend. Always put myself out there. Thought of your feelings. Told people, I know she gives off serial killer vibes, but she's really just shy. I never asked you to do that. You didn't have to because that's what friends do. They don't have to be asked. And the fact that you don't know that says everything. You want to be alone Wednesday? Be alone. Jeanette. Ted, listen to me. You're being crazy. I'm being crazy? Yes. How long have you been hung up on Robin? Eight years? And you're still killing yourself to fetch dumb little trinkets for her. That's crazy. That's more than crazy. I don't think there's a word for what that is. Actually, there is a word for that. It's love. I'm in love with her, okay? If you're looking for the word, that means caring about someone beyond all rationality and wanting them to have everything they want, no matter how much it destroys you, it's love. And when you love someone, you just, you, you don't stop, ever. Even when people roll their eyes or call you crazy, even then, especially then, you just, you don't give up. Because if I could give up, if I could just, you know, take the whole world's advice and, and move on and find someone else, that wouldn't be love. That would be, that would be some other disposable thing that is not worth fighting for. Do you love me? I'm not gonna answer the question because you know the answer. You wanna talk about my top five? There's no top five, Robin. There's just a top one, and it's you. And the only reason I'm saying any of this is because I know that it's not gonna change anything. You and Barney are getting married today. Love is a dagger. It's a weapon to be wielded far away or up close. You can see yourself in it. It's beautiful. Until it makes you bleed. But ultimately, when you reach for it,